just WWE pops and this is my biggest collection next to the pop animation collection. So let's just get started because there's a lot to go through. First, let's go through the double packs. And the first one, the first one I'll go through is probably my least favorite is the Enzo and Cass double pack. I'll show you the back. It's a little greens exclusive. It's my least favorite. Okay, right now. I don't know how I'm going to line these up. Because you're so, because so many. Next is the Sting and Lex Luger double pack. I'll show you the back. It's in FYE exclusive. Next is the Tech DiBiase and IRS. And I like this one because I like the briefcase. This is a Little Greens exclusive. Um, here is the Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy double pack. This is when they first came back at WrestleMania. This is pretty cool. Probably one of my favorite double packs. I bought all four of these. At the same price, at the same price, at the same time from this guy. Next is AEW. It's the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick, Nick Jackson. This is pretty cool. Bullet Club. Hot Topic exclusive. Okay, and next I'm going to follow it up by... The American Nightmare, Cody. Now, I said that they're AEW pops, but they're New Japan. This was before AEW was created, so they're New Japan pops. And the last one to finish that off is Kenny Omega. They come in the cassette. So, yeah, those are my new Japan pops. Alright, so there's going to be a lot of cuts in this video because i got to figure out how I'm going to stack them up after I show you. I might stack them up in front of me, but we'll see. So let's start the WWE pops. First is John Cena. He's number one. Cause John Cena. Next is CM Punk. He's in a pop protector because he's kind of expensive. And I'm gonna try to go through this fast. So if I'm going too fast, pause and rewind. Next is The Rock. So you decide. He's in a pop protector. If they're in a pop protector, they're going for a lot because that means they're vaulted. They don't make them no more. I'll probably explain that in another video, but again, I'm recording this first. Next is Seamus. Okay. Now, what's the last one? All right, this is Stone Cold, the regular one. I don't have the uh, WWE 2K exclusive, but yeah, it's the uh, regular one. Okay. Now, Here's the last one in the set. It's Rey Mysterio, the regular one. There's two more exclusives that I don't have. This is the back. 
Now, starting the next series is Daniel Bryan. I'm not too crazy about his pop because of a beard, but it's whatever. I don't have, I believe he has two exclusives. I don't have. Next is The Undertaker. I like his pop. It's pretty cool. I can't wait for the American Badass pop to come out. Okay, next is Triple H. This is your regular shaved head. Here's your side. Next shaved head. You know, short hair. He's not fully bald. Show you your side. Okay, I think, I think I'm better off stacking them up in three. Yeah, I'll do that. Next is Macho Man. This is the regular one. He has two Lugger exclusives, but I get two Lugger exclusives, but this is your regular Macho Man. Next is Hulk Hogan. He kind of went down in price. I believe there's another uh, yellow. There's a yellow shirt and an NWO exclusive. I just have this. I got that and the Macho Man out of a, a wrestling subscription box. Next, to end off this set, set number two, is AJ Lee. This is probably the most expensive pop in the, the whole collection because she's a WWE shop exclusive and they don't make her anymore. And she also left the company, so... Okay, next is Brock Lesnar, a Walmart exclusive, and this is actually the last one in series two. Show you the side. It's pretty cool. Brock Lesnar. Now the next two actually have their own set. It's um Nikki and Bree. And they're probably they're the same pop. They're just different name. Oh, this one has a hat. This one don't. And they're part of the Total Divas line. So I don't have the um the two pack that they have. I believe they're wearing red in that one. Okay, the next one is Paige, and actually, she goes in the, um, the Total Divas set, but this is pretty cool, because it's back then, she had the blue highlights in her hair, I think she first got, no, was she in NXT by this time, but this is a pretty... Pretty cool then. Alright, I believe this starts series three. It's um Ric Flair. I think this is a Target exclusive, but it don't have the sticker for some reason. Yeah, Ric Flair, pink rub. It's pretty cool. Next is Roddy Piper. This is a Target exclusive. So you decide. I don't know if I should stack them up in fours. I don't. I don't get down full. Alright. Next is Sting. I don't have the uh. The red face paint. I think I 
that's a GameStop exclusive because it's standard. Alright, don't fall. Next is Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. I believe there's an exclusive of him. I don't have it. Ultimate Warrior. Then we have Andre the Giant. This is a standard. I don't have the six inch yet. I'm looking to pick that up. Andre the Giant. Then we have Roman Reigns. This is in the shield attire. Well, he recently just changed his attire. He's the last one to change it. Is this the, um, the next series? Oh no, it continues. It continues on. First is Seth Rollins in the shield attire. And uh, there's an FIE um, exclusive. It's all light, but I don't have it because it's the standard black attire. And then next is Bret Hart. Standard. I don't think there's an exclusive. Okay, next we have Eva Marie. Uh, at the time of recording, she supposedly signed a deal with WWE. So she's supposed to be coming back. I don't know by the time I upload this if she's back, but Gritty is happy about that. Then we got Kevin Owens. I like this pop, actually. Okay, uh, Alright, I'm gonna start a new, uh, a new row. We have Brave Light. Back when, uh, he was doing the whole buzzards gimmick with the Lyot family. Thinking back, that was a long time ago. Alright, next we have Big E with a unicorn horn. Looks pretty cool. I like Big E. Okay, next is Xavier Lutz. And I was gonna say this is from WrestleMania, but I don't think it is because he had the um the Dragon Ball Z hair, so I don't know why it slipped back like this, but he's got a trumpet. It's pretty cool. And next we have, oh I can't reach, next we have Coffee Kingston. Does he have anything, uh, nothing special? Just a unicorn. Show you side. Now I don't have the three pack. Um, I might pick that up. I don't know why I don't have it. It was so common. It's probably expensive right now. I believe this is the next. Oh no, it's still part of this set. It's Shawn Michaels. Little Green's exclusive. I like this attire. And to go with that, we got Kane. Another Little Green's exclusive. This is pretty cool. I'm waiting for a 97 Kane. Or a 2000, what is it, 2002 Kane. Without the mask. No, this is... 2002. Lovers without the mask. 
2005. Look at James. This is badass. But we need, we need more kings. Next, I believe this is series one, two. This is four. Series three is a lot. This is four. We got Finn Balor, Standard, no makeup. Look at there. We got Mick Foley. Just a regular Mick Foley. We need um Cactus Jack, Mankind, and Dear Love. But this is Standard Mick Foley.
Yeah, it is excuse for this. It's Triple H. This is your regular. And in the chase, he's got um, the skull helmet from his WrestleMania entrance. I'm not sure if which uh, WrestleMania it is. Oh, it shows on the back. The back top, it shows the skull. That's the chase. I just realized I skipped the whole row of pops. So back it up after the Iron Cheek. So let's get Brutus. We have Comic-Con Zack Ryder. I believe there's an ex another exclusive in his, I'm going to say, green attire. But this is his white attire. Next is Shinsuke Nakamura. And this is... A Toys R Us exclusive, but he don't have the sticker. I don't know why. That's pretty cool. I like this pop. Okay. I don't know how I skipped a whole row. Next is the rock. That his million dollar shirt or five hundred dollar shirt. He's got a chase version, like a black shirt. See it on the back. The rock. Now the next one is the SmackDown exclusive rock. It's the gold version. It's the same number, same mold, but it's gold. I liked it, so I bought it. I'm not really a fan of gold pops, but he look cool. Next is Razor Ramon. They have a, a Chase NWO version, but it's expensive. This is the standard pink trunks. Okay. Next is Braun Strowman. I'm not really a fan of this pop. It looks okay. It looks like Braun. I'm just not. I'm not a fan. He's got a shaved head. I don't know. I don't like it. Next we got Alexa Bliss. This is, I believe, in NXT. Then she was Vic Buddy and Murphy. Did I say Buddy and Murphy? It's uh, Murphy and... Who was the other guy? It was Buddy Murphy and... Oh boy, I can't remember his name. Buddy Murphy... Oh, Blake! It was Blake and Murphy. Okay, is that his name, Blake? Yeah, so there's Alexa Bliss. I need him to make her and her... Freddy Krueger attire from NXT or her Harley thing that got pink and blue hair and her um bliss blissful shirt whatever it is so that's that and then we got Shawn Michaels okay and then take the snake. I just dropped it. And Zack Ryder. No. Triple H. Where's Zack Ryder? I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. Next, we got Vince McMahon. There's a chase for this. He has like a pink um, suit, I believe. This is the standard. Almost done, almost done. We have Sergeant Slaughter. Gotta love the Sarge. Sergeant Slaughter. Next we have Kurt Angle. This is, is this his wrestling machine days? Was it an AC, ECW 
ECW, ACW. Then there's the wrestling machine. Guys for the days. We have Oscar. Summer Kang exclusive. There's like three Oscars. There's this one. There's full face paint and half of the mask. Half mask and full mask. But I like this one. I might get the um the full mask. Now I'll try not to skip the row. Here's Ric Flair. WWE 2K exclusive, like a bull, the big gold belt. I paid an arm and a leg for this, but it's double the price now. So I can't complain. It's gonna keep going up. Next is Ronda Rousey. From WrestleMania. I believe Vince McMahon wants her to come back for this WrestleMania to fight Becky. I don't see it, how that's possible. I like this one. It's Amazon exclusive. John Cena, you can't see me. Special, uh, special paint. You can see right through it. It's pretty cool. Put that there. We got Ooh, Randy Orton. This is a long video. Holy shit. Got Randy Orton. He's got the vest. I like the vest. Next we got Batista. And he's got a microphone in his hand from, I believe it's when he clicked, when he lost to the, was it John Cena in the I Quit match? And he came out in the, uh, the wheelchair, the next row, and he clicked. But he eventually came back. Then we got Charlotte Flair. Foot Locker exclusive. The original one is the green attire, but this is blue. I don't know why it went to Foot Locker, but it did. Then we got Ric Flair, old school attire. I'm going to try to speed this up. There's a double pack that him and his daughter. I don't have it. I believe it's all gold. Next we have Becky Lynch. I'm not really a fan of this attire, but it's whatever. Then we have Trish Stratus. It's pretty cool. Stratus Faction. Yeah. Uh, we got, okay, move it along. We got Elias, like a guitar. I kind of like this pop for some reason. Pretty cool. We got old Bret Hart, like his sunglasses. Bret Hart, a jacket, sunglasses. Then we got the Undertaker. I believe this was when he fought Shawn Michaels in the Heaven and Hell. And they're actually, almost dropped it, they're making a glow in the dark purple version of this. Amazon exclusive. It might be out by the time I put this out. I don't know. Can we have the man? Becky Lynch, Amazon exclusive, the man attire. I actually got two of these, one to take out of the box. And we got Walmart exclusive, Hulk Hogan, Hulk School, Rugger. Is this the last six or seven? We got the mace with the stupid goggles. I hate this, this attire. The mace. We got 
like a microphone. Can we get? Oh, we got Diesel. And I believe there's a Chase. It's NWO, Kevin Nash. Just like the, the Razor Ramon. Got Diesel. Then we got Naomi. This is the regular Naomi. And then I have Glow in the Dark Naomi. Feel the glow. It's the same pop, but it glows in the dark. What is this exclusive to? Don't say. It just says Chris. Alright. Then, the last two. We got Doctor of Gardenomics, John Cena. This box is damaged. I have to get another one. And then, last but not least, we got the Fiend. Amazon exclusive. And I believe there's a new set that came out. I still have to get, but those are my wrestling collection. Holy shit. That was like 80 pops. Whew. But you can see why it was the finale. That was a lot. If you stuck through all that, I thank you. Um, let me know which one was your favorite pop or your favorite series. Let me know which was your favorite pop series out of the whole thing. You know, the wrestling, the animation, the DC. Let me know. Um, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload. And have a nice day, guys. Peace.